Jain religion is thousands of years old, one of the oldest religion on this earth. There are three main tenets. Ahimsa means non-violence, Aparigraha means non-possessiveness, and Anekantvad means multiple views. It's mainly based on non-violence. Do not harm anyone. We feel that vegetables or trees have life. So we try to minimize violence whenever, wherever is possible. Respect each and every life on this universe. It started as an undergraduate at Loyola Marymount University when I took my first Indic religions course there. And we were asked during one of our writing assignments at home to write an essay about nonviolence. Um, I was always just, just brought up eating whatever I wanted, uh, which was always fast food, American fast food, and all those kinds of things, eating meat all the time, not even questioning it. And then suddenly I was being asked to reflect on nonviolence. While I was writing that paper, there was a spider crawling across the wall above my computer in my, in my house. And I remember grabbing something and reaching back to swat the spider down. And then right before I was about to hit the spider, I stopped and I said, wait a minute, I'm writing a paper about nonviolence. I'm reflecting on nonviolence. And for the first time in my life, I finally realized that I had this insight that everything wants to live. The spider doesn't want to die. It, it wants to live. It, and if I hit it and kill it, I'm taking that away from it. It was that defining moment that planted a seed in me that would later grow into the rest of me sort of unfolding, becoming a vegetarian and eventually a vegan, all of which was really under the influence of Jain philosophy. Crisis comes. This is where Jain religion comes in a picture that you could be right, I could be right, he could be right, she could be right in your own ways. I can give you a simple example. There's an elephant standing there. Four blind people, one is holding the trunk, one is holding the uh, leg, one is holding the tail. Tail guy would say, I'm holding a rope. The other one say, oh, I'm holding a big pillar. They are true in their own ways. And that's where this multiple view system comes in the picture. There might be multiple reasons for conflict and turmoil going through this country. And ego might be one of them. Or personal aspirations or personal expectations might be another one. But when you believe in Jain principles where you believe in Aparigraha or Anekantvad, that's where you can win over other people and you can resolve the conflict. Another perspective that comes out of this, all of this, is the concept of multi-perspectivalism. This is often interpreted in modern Jainism as intellectual nonviolence. It's allowing others to have a perspective and respecting their perspective, even if it's not the same as your own. Unless, and this is the big unless, unless it incites violence or violence is involved. So it's a general respect for other worldviews as part of an overall practice of nonviolence. I'm not saying you're wrong, I'm right. The first thing you do in yoga is you set an intention to set your relationship right with the world. And it's going to ask you to consider to do your best, no matter what, to perfect the paramount virtue, which is for Jane's the paramount virtue as well, of nonviolence. You want to set your relationship to the world in a way where you are inflicting the least violence possible and always thinking about how can I reduce my violence on the world. Over a very long period of time throughout my 20s and my 30s, I studied the Jain tradition and I studied the yoga tradition and then began to teach it. Over the course of the past several years, Jain donors in the United States, and I should say in North America, have come together and pooled their resources to create funded positions to teach Jain studies. They want to, the students to be aware that being nonviolent is even an option. And then just begin to pay attention to your breath, be thankful for your breath. So we're going to start a breathing exercise with all the things that are going on in the United States right now, with politics, with violence, of course, the message of nonviolence brings something positive to think about, but even more specifically, the perspective of, of multi-perspectivalism, giving people a chance to voice what it is that they want to voice, as long as we're willing to do it in a civil way that doesn't eventually escalate into violence. And even in America, we have our own legacy of philosophies of free speech, John Stuart Mill, and the idea that we should have free speech, but that free speech, we should draw a line when that free speech attempts to incite violence.